<laughs> you want to know why? It's because I met this man. Well, I didn't actually meet him, okay? I just kind of, um, well, I've talked to him, you know, in emails, and um, he's this amazing graphic artist, okay? And um, I saw some of his work, and I, and I contacted him and said, like, can I use some of your designs on my wall? And he said, yes! I mean, you know, and, and you wouldn't believe the way this man writes. I mean, he is just, he's a poet. And his words are so eloquent, and he's just, you know, I, I'm sure he's the epitome of class. And, oh, he's just like a poet, and he's just, you know, I just, and the fabulous, and the colors, and the liveliness. I'm just, I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> oh, that must be him now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wolf Johnny. Hi. Not exactly what I expected. I'm sure he's nice. Well, come in. Um, you can ever have a chair at the stool? What do I call you? Um, Mr. Wolf Johnny? Well, actually, my, my name is Wolf Johnny, and people call me Wolf Johnny. And here you are, the man behind the artwork. I mean, look at this. I mean, you're the guy who created these beautiful butterflies and sunflowers that I've been admiring for so long. The man who spoke so eloquently in his emails and so worldly and colorful and just everything I just imagined you to be was gonna be just so different. <gasps> and I'm sure you're just going to be lovely and we're gonna have a really great time together today. So forgive me, Johnny, for just being a little surprised, but um, <laughs> Maybe let's just get started and I'll ask you a few things about, you know, how was your day today? And did you have a good time finding it? Did you find the place okay today? No. No? Well, Johnny, I am just fascinated with your artwork. Now, that is the reason I've asked you here today. So, um, this is our playground. What do you think? Nice. All right then, um, well the reason I did ask you here is because we're going to be doing some of your graphic art, colorful, exciting, brilliant, and poetic work on the wall. So, um, how about we get started? Dog. Dog. Uh, you, you can call me Dog. Well, at least that's a little more colorful. All right, Dog, let's, um, let's get going. All right, so here we are. Now what we're going to do is start by creating these um, large flower shapes at the bottom, okay? And to do that, what we're going to do is take some oiled stencil paper, okay? And what I did was I got it started and I drew the shape, okay? And I decided I wanted like three feet because we want these things big, you know, like a big. All right, and uh, okay, so we got the shape and, you know, there's several ways that we can do that. You can just either blow it up or just figure out a way to draw it out and use graph paper, whatever it takes to get the flower going, okay? And, and um, I don't mean to take you away from what you're so intently watching there, Mr. Wolf Johnny. Dog. Dog. Well, Mr. Dog, then. I, I assure you, Miss Goddess, I, I was just in mind I put a plain t shirt you are wearing. The fabric looks so firm and yet so soft to the touch, like, like, like it was spun from. Pink strawberry cotton candy, and I just want to reach out and taste those strawberries. I did say you were poetic, didn't I? Did Johnny, you? Johnny, do you want to just, Mr. Dog, cut, just cut the flower pattern. Just cut the curved pattern, okay? And yes. so now that, okay, now that he's doing that, all right, and then we're going to you know, make another one, okay? And I'm going to get the paint ready, and then we're going to. We're gonna be painting some. Uh... Johnny, what are these things, anyways? The, the flowers? What is the inspiration for your um, your stuff, by the way? Well, these are jam pot lids, and well, Miss Goddess, I just love to draw pretty things. I love to draw flowers and butterflies and bumblebees and jelly pops and jam pots. I love to draw uh, snowflakes and happy little penguins. And I like to draw ribbons and bows and sometimes when it's snowflakes I like to draw two snowballs with a big old North Pole sticking up. And 
and that's where my inspiration comes from. Am I doing this all right, Miss Gawday? Yes. Doug, exactly how many syllables does the word goddess have in Georgia? Never mind, Doug. Doug? Yes, Miss Doug. Now, um, okay, so we got one of these cut. This is just fabulous. We're gonna need two of these to make a whole circle for the flower, okay? So what you can actually do to make it really easy is just lay it down on another piece of the oiled paper, okay? Because I couldn't find one, you know, quite large enough to begin with. So we're doing the two halves, all right? And then just lay it down, trace it, and we've got the second flower. So Johnny, you wanna trace this, and then we're gonna cut this, cut this out, all right? Yes, Miss Gaudi. All right, so we've got the flower cut out, taped together, so we've got one flower, all right? And we got to figure out placement, all right, because these things are touching and not overlapping, okay? So what's a good idea, or what works really well, I think, is you take some chalk, okay? And you're just going to want to set your flower up, and then just kind of like, woo! Can you hold that, Johnny? Thank you. A dog. Excuse me. Dog. And then just kind of, you know, let's just get some, some placement, all right? Then we can take it off. And then you're going to want to know, okay, we want the next one probably up higher. Okay, okay yeah, just hold the flower jar up. Perfect. All right, this is fabulous, okay? So we've got the pattern taped up on the edges. But you might notice that it gets a little flappy in here, and you want this to lay down a little bit closer to the flower. Well, here's a little trick that makes it so much easier, okay? So what I want you to do is take your X-Acto knife and then just cut a little shape, all right? Just right in there, close to the edge of the flower. Okay, so we got a little gap there. And then what you do is you just take some tape, all right, and then you can place that right over the shape you cut, and your artwork is gonna lay nice and flat. Okay, isn't this fabulous? All right, so now what you're gonna do is just paint it. And what I want you to do is stencil along the edges, okay, so the paint doesn't ooze underneath. And you can just use a sponge, okay? What we're gonna do is just, just you know, dab it along the edges. All right, and then we can just paint it in the middle. I happen to love flowers, big petals, the bigger the petals, the better. As a matter of fact, sometimes I draw those flower petals so big they look like big petals. Ooh, not plastic petals. My friend says, he says, do you mind that sometimes those petals look kind of fake? I mean, do you like big, big petals? And I say, I don't care if they're fake or not, as long as they're Big pets, and, and 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 I sometimes get so very excited when I draw those big petals out on the sketch paper that I have to take the paper up in my hand and put it in my face and go. Oh, I'm beginning to like the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> 